Glory to God. Amen. Hallelujah. God is good. <coughs> And all the time, God is good. Amen. So, na-pressure talaga ako kasi mayroong mga ano, no? Paul, ikaw na bahala dyan. So, I, <coughs> I just, uh, no, I just want to apologize if I will run out of English. Ano po? And uh, one more thing is that if my diction or pronunciation is wrong, okay? because I am an NBI. <coughs> okay? Because I am an NBI, a natural born Ilocano. <laughs> However, though my parents are in Pangasinan, I am an FBI. A full blooded Ilocano. <laughs> Pero sabi nila kapag Ilocano daw is napaka masinop. Tama ba? Sino Ilocano ito? Masinop daw ang Ilocano. <clears throat> Hindi naman kuripot, masinop. Okay. Pero ako naman po ay isang GI. I am a GI. I am a galanting Ilocano. <clears throat> Bakit? Kasi, because my salary goes directly to BPI. <coughs> Bangko sa pangangasiwan ni Inday. Ang Inday ng buhay ko. Amen po. <coughs> Praise the Lord. So, bago po tayo mag-start, I just want to start with uh, a story. Gusto nyo ba ng kwento? Para hindi kayo kabahan. Kasi pag kinabahan kayo, mas lalo akong kakabahan. <laughs> Parang nagpapalpitin na, Pastor Bro. Ganito pala rito, Pastor. So, here's the story. One day, there was a meeting. A great meeting. Di abanse. Hindi, yun, hindi ng hugpong or hindi ng ocho derecho. It was a meeting with Satan and his cohorts. All of his demons. Nagmi-meeting din pala sila. Ano? Kala ko tayo-tayo lang. <clears throat> Pati din pala sila nagmi-meeting. Then, in the meeting, Satan asked one by one all of his kampons. Okay? Pumunta siya sa una. Sabi niya, ang hirap English. Ano na ang nagawa mo para sa ating kaharian? What have you done for our kingdom? What already have you done? our kingdom. Then the uh, first demon said with proud pa. <clears throat> Sabi niya, ang ginawa ko lang naman, please translate, ginawa ko lang naman, I have seen some Christians that is traveling in the sea. So what I have done, I'm, I have made the wind very strong Raise the tides so that their ship will sink and none of them survive. Wow. Now, Satan said, foolish, Kampon. <laughs> Do you know that these are already evangelists of Christ? So right now, they are already rejoicing in the presence of their king. Now, pumunta naman siya sa isa. Ikaw naman, anong nagawa mo? What about you? Then the second kampon said, For me, I have seen so many people <clears throat> climbing the mountain. So what I have done, I, have, I get into different wild animals in the forest and eat them all. None of them survive. So, ganun din ang sabi ni Satan. Foolish. Do you know that these are already ministers of the living God? So, right now, they're already rejoicing kasi kasama na nun si Kristo. So, the last one, tinawag niya, what about you? Siya naman, siya effect. Kasi wala siyang napatay eh. Wala siyang napatay kahit isa. So sinabi niya, for me what I have done, I have entered into two different congregations of Christians. 
And what I have done, I let loose spirit. Sleepy spirit. So all of them will fall asleep. <clears throat> I let loose a spirit of a stubbornness so that whatever message they will hear, they will not accept. I will let loose a spirit. <clears throat> Anong tawag doon sa English na yon? Okay. Magpapakawala ako ng spirito. Okay ng boredom para sila ay mabore sa, sa, sa throw out the service at maglabas pasok sa pintuhan. I will let loose spirit of murmuring and gossip so they will just talk with each other. So ang sabi ni Satan, very good my servant come and join me with my joy. Ngayon ang tanong po sa atin, gusto niyo ba na ma-very good 'yon? Ba parang walang Gusto niyo ba na ma-very good yung kampon na 'yon? Hindi. Bakit hindi? Gusto niyo ikayo ma-very good? So anong gagawin natin? Ano? Ano hindi ko marinig? Lord na rinig mo 'yon. Makikita mo kung sino natutulog. Hallelujah. So ngayong araw po, our topic for today is na binigay sa atin ng Lord is found in Book of Daniel chapter 5 verse 26 to 28. So sabi po dito, here is what these words mean. Mine God has numbered the days of your reign and brought it to an end. Tikel, you have been weighed on the scales and found one thing. Pires, your kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and Persians. Let us pray. O oh, Father God in heaven, through the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, and the fellowship of your Holy Spirit, once again, we honor you, we adore you, and praise you, O oh Lord God, for... Once again, you have given us wonderful opportunity, Lord, to commune with you, to speak with you, Lord God. Lord, I pray, Father God, you have said in your word, two or three gathered in your name, you are in the midst of them. Oh, Holy Spirit, freely move within us. You are our guest speaker for today. Speak the truth, O oh Lord God. Lord, hide me. At your back, Lord, let, let your glory alone be revealed. Use my mouth, Lord God, to speak of your word, Lord God. That as I speak, it is you who is walking, talking to us. Open up, Lord, our spiritual understanding. Open up our ears and give us, Lord, a humble heart and a teachable heart. And I declare and decree, Lord, no flesh, no flesh be exalted except the name of Jesus. Father, throughout this service, Lord God, we entrust everything into you. For truly indeed, without you, we can do nothing. But through you, everything is possible. We give you glory, honor, and praises. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Tapos na po yung mensahe. <coughs> Closing prayer na. So, <coughs> bigla po kayo ng insights. No? Itong uh, verse na to, actually, I've been battling this <coughs> this word from God for how many day, how many weeks now? Since God visited me in a dream. Actually, God visited me in a dream with this. <coughs> and that throughout these days passed by, Nagkakaroon ako ng, I'm battling in spirit. Lord, ano ba yung nagawa ko? I am already too proud. Nagiging boastful na ba ako, Lord God? Kasi this, this story is actually happened in the time of <coughs> King Belshazzar. You know, sino, kilala niyo ba kung sino siya? Siya ay anak ni King Nebuchadnezzar. 
Okay, the king who conquered Israel and Judah. Okay, in his reign, nagkaroon ng piging. Wherein, nag-inuman sila, and hit the king's men with their families, and throughout their, their drinking, sinabi niya sa kanyang mga alagad, kunin yung mga gamit, mga baso, nagaling sa Jerusalem. It was the cups of God that been used in His temple. So, yun ang ginamit nila para uminom. Then, throughout their marrying, suddenly, a finger of man appeared on the wall and write these scriptures, scriptions that no one can understand. <clears throat> so, walang nakakaintindi So, ipinatawag si Daniel at ininterpret niya kung ano to. It was mini, mini, tikil, or farsin. It is an armaic word. Okay? So, nung mabasa ko to, Lord, <clears throat> it speaks of humbugness. You know humbugness? <clears throat> That when we humbug ourselves, God will humble us down because God resist the proud but give grace to the humble. Amen? So ito po, nangyari po yung kwan, talagang <clears throat> binabattle ko dito. And throughout this week, ako po talaga ay nagkasakit pa. Kasi nire-resist ko yung word. Kasi I thought it was me. <clears throat> Kaya nung time na nagtanong sa akin si Ate Lodgen, ano ba yung theme ng message? Actually, I cannot give him the correct message kasi I am meditating a different verse. But God speaks me through this. Kaya this past few days, past week, week talaga, nagkasakit ako kasi binabatal ko talaga. Then suddenly, <clears throat> one, uh, one uh, servant of God uh, communicate with me at It so happened na yung verse na to, he was meditating on it. God revealed to him in, his, in her devotion. But what is striking is that in the day that God reveals to her this word, nagkaroon siya ng travail. And do you know that on that day, it was the time na sobrang sama ng pakiramdam ko. Sobrang malat ng boses ko at ng kate, blema, at nilalagnat, nilalamig. It so happened na yun mismo. So, do you, do you believe in coincidence? Was it a coincidence? Was it? Parang walang naka... Magkausap ba ako? May ka- <laughs> it was not. Actually, it's a battle in spirit. And she was interceding for us. So, ini-reveal niya sa akin kung ano mensahe. So in that ma- in that time, the second day <clears throat> na nag- nag-usap kami, I feel comforted. Let us pray together for the churches of God in Dubai. Sabi nga niya, let us pray together. And that the time I was comforted and ministered. So in the third day, I work again. So I was absent <clears throat> Nagkaroon ako ng sick leave, but on the third day, I was already ministered, I work again. Amen po? Huwag ko kayong masyadong uh, tahimik dahil mas lalo akong kakabahan. <coughs> Now, <coughs> sige pa tayo. Ang ating pong pagtuturan ngayon is the verse 27, which says, You have been weighed in the balance and found one thing. Tinimbang ka. Ngo. Ngunit, kulang. <clears throat> in, 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 in different businesses, uh, like for example, in retail sa amin, every quarter we have our quarters review. Nagkakaroon ng review yan. Nagkakaroon ng repraisal, review about the performance of the whole quarter. <clears throat> And since we are going to the higher calling, climbing high, sa susunod nating mga theme. Ano na yung theme, Pastor? On to the greater heights. Are you ready to climb onto the greater heights? 
So ngayon, what if God will weigh us today? <clears throat> Kaya ang ating pong theme, the biggest gainer. <clears throat> Gain in faith, not in weight. That is the title. <clears throat> Amen. So if God will weigh us today, ano kaya makikita ng Lord? Are we overweight? Are we underweight? Or exact weight? Saan tayo doon? Saan tayo doon? Parang wala akong maano. Pakasa pa. So in or- sabi nga nila, <clears throat> kapag ikaw daw ay um, mataba at biglang nagkapa- na pumayat, ano daw nangyari sa'yo? Madalas naririnig ko kasi nagka-LBM. Hmm. Dahil nagka-LBM, pumayat. Amen. <clears throat> Kaya today, we will have LBM. <laughs> LBMs, we need to eliminate the uh, spiritual toxins in our life, in our walk in faith, so that our weight will be exact when God weighs us. Not, hindi tinimbang, ngunit kulang, kundi tinimbang at eksakto ang laman. Amen? <clears throat> Are you ready? <clears throat> Kasi ako parang kinakabahan pa. So, una, <clears throat> unang L. We need to live a life with purpose. How are we living our life today? When we talk about life, madalas may mga natanong, natanong ko last time, ano bang para sa'yo anong life? Siyempre, kumain, matulog, pumunta sa trabaho, matulog ulit, magtanggap ng sweldo, magmasyal, magshopping, magchay. What is life unto us? We've been living life in a different way God intends us to be. Life is more than just eating the food you wanted. It's more than wearing the dress you desired. It's more than going to the places you have dreamed of. But living a life with purpose. What is the purpose of God why I'm living here? What is the very purpose of God when He created me? When He designed me? What is in His mind when He created me? Sometimes we struggle of this and that. Why? Because we are not walking as per our purpose. Kaya sabi ko nga sa small group, it, this, ito yung tinatawag nating rubber band effect. When you stretch the rubber band, napakatindi ang impact. When we stretch our life to a different direction, not on God's direction, expect so much hurt in your life. Isn't it? Isn't it? <clears throat> Sabi nga po sa first, uh, sa Ecclesiastes 1, chapter 2, verse 3, meaningless Meaningless, says the teacher. Utterly meaningless. Everything is meaningless. What do people gain from all their labors which they toil under the sun? <clears throat> do you know who, re- who wrote Ecclesiastes? It was King Solomon, the richest person ever had in the world. Nandun sa kanya lahat, wealth, Power, wisdom, <clears throat> kingdoms, and even wives. Siya na siguro yung pinaka maraming asawa at wala pang nakakatalo sa kanya hanggang sa ngayon. And yet, he said, life is meaningless. Throughout this book, you will read, life is meaningless. It's just like chasing upon the wind. Nasubukan niyo na bang habulin ang hangin? Sino dito ang humahabol ng hangin? <clears throat> Nahabol nyo naman. Ayan na, ayan na. Nung bata kami, hinahabol namin ang hangin. I admit, hinahabol ko ang hangin nung bata ko. 
Dahil meron akong saranggola or yung ilise, inahanap ko, asan ba yung hangin? But after a while, we, we do everything work and work and work and work. Visit this, visit that, eat this, eat that. At the end of the day, what we have? Nothing. Everything is meaningless. Kaya sabi nga po sa Matthew chapter 16, verse 26, What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world? yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange of their soul? God has planted a very, very, uh, what do you call this one? <clears throat> As, um, one of a kind. Yung collector's item, gem in your life. Do you believe? When He created the whole earth and He see it, oh, it was beautiful. The Bible even speaks, and the whole earth is filled with His glory. The glory of God is within each and every one of us. Do you believe? May glory kang Lord sa'yo, ate? Amen. And if that glory <clears throat> is used up, then you will believe your purpose. It's for us to show forth that glory God bestowed in our life so we can fulfill His purpose for us. Amen? Kasi one thing is that God wants us, sorry, God wants us that when we go back home, not to the Philippines, but to Him, we will go home. Finish. We will go home successful, fulfilled. That is living the purpose God has designed for you. Not living your desires. Mahirap, masakit. <clears throat> Pero once you live with God's purpose, ang gaan kaya ng pakiramdam. Ang gaan ng pakiramdam. Try nyo magpakapuyat sa inuman or sa party. <clears throat> what will you feel kinabukasan? Pero gawin mo naman, magpakapuyat ka sa presensya ng Lord. Anong mangyari sa'yo kinabukasan? You feel energized as if nothing happens. Because God restores your strength. Because the joy of the Lord is our strength. So what more will you do? Go to Him and fulfill His purpose for you. Because at the end of the day, God wants us that when we come home, well done, my good and faithful servants. You made it. <clears throat> Now, number two. Ay, may nakalimutan pala ako. <clears throat> Sabi nga sa Proverbs, I don't know the verse. Many are the plans in man's heart. Amen. Amen. But the purpose of the Lord shall prevail. <clears throat> anong ibig sabihin nito? Kahit anong gawin mo, kahit anong gawin mo, struggle ang abutin mo. Bakit ang purpose pa rin ng Lord ang mangyayari sa buhay mo? That is the rubber band effect that I am talking about. Hihilain ka pa rin ng destiny mo. Because God says in Isaiah, I am God, there's none like me. <clears throat> I made the end before the beginning. Meaning to say, your life is already determined before He created you. But if you don't do or walk on that life God is already ordained for you, chances are, man stretch ka and that hurts. Destiny hurts. Amen. <clears throat> so number two, build a strong foundation of faith. How are we building our faith so far? How are we building our faith so far? <clears throat> are we building it in a practical way or in a spiritual way? Sometimes we do things, we follow God, God's direction in our life at our own comfort, in our comfort zones. We do things in different ways. We build our faith. Ah, ito, alam ko, ito ang makakabubuti. But, 
is it? Sabi nga ng kasama ko sa bahay, eat it. Is it? Let us imagine ourselves building a house. Um, there was there is a scripture in uh, there is a parable in the in the Bible in the book of Matthew regarding the wise and foolish builder, right? Sino nakakaalam ng story na yon? Let let's uh, imagine ourselves building our house, our home. And we are using <clears throat> the most economic and low cost materials. Pag dumating ang bagyo sa ating storms in our life like Yolanda, will you stay there? Will you? Or you will seek other shelters? Because you know that the, your house is not tr- strong enough to face that storm. Now, <clears throat> God made a way. God decides something. Not only pastors desire, but it was ordained, planned by God. He established hangouts. Binigay ng Lord ang hangouts. In order for us to establish a strong relationship not only with our brethren but to the Lord building our faith sabi nga ng <clears throat> sabi nga ng Romans ayon ah, pala faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word of God saan ba natin ma, 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 ma papakinggan ang salita ng Lord syempre sa gawain ng Panginoon That's why God established hangouts for us to be able to strengthen our faith. Amen? So, kailangan tayo makinig. Kaya huwag natin kaliligtan yung mga ganong bagay. Now, the thing is that, ang tanong, bakit minsan hindi tayo pumupunta? May isang bagay na nireveal sa akin ngayon lang ang Lord. Bakit nga ba tayo, uh, minsan, hindi tayo sumasama sa ganon? Ano lang to? Para sa akin lang to, ah. I quote it para sa akin. <clears throat> God revealed to me dahil we filtered, we are filtering words that we want to hear. Correct? Pag masakit, hindi sa akin yan. Baka kay kuya yan. <laughs> Pag maganda, ay akin yan. We tend to throw things that is very important. Madalas na may naririnig ko ako na punta ka lang, makinig lang. <clears throat> Kung anong maganda, pakinggan mo. Tanggapin mo. Pag hindi maganda, tapon mo. <laughs> Pero personally, I don't agree. Why? Let the good things encourage you and comfort you. And the bad things change you and mold you to become good in the sight of God. Because if we start rejecting everything, Actually, we are rejecting the Word of God. He said, all scriptures is God's breath, God breath for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training righteousness. Amen. We refuse to be corrected. We refuse to be rebuked. Amen. Do you know that God, for God loves, He rebukes. Kapag hindi ka nire-rebuke o hindi ka <clears throat> pinagsasabihan ng magulang mo, abay magtanong ka na. Kanino anak kaya ako? <laughs> so kung hindi ka kinukorek ni pastor, aba, magtanong ka na, baka hindi ka alam ng pastor. Pero kapag kayo kinukorek ni pastor, kinukorek tayo, ibig sabihin, mahal niya tayo. That is a sign of love. Amen. Glory to God. So are we ready to be corrected? Take note po, God is a spirit. Yes? We worship God and God is a spirit. How then could He respond to you? He could respond to you through a vessel. And what is that vessel? Yung mga kapatid na nasa tabi mo. Tignan mo nga katabi mo. Kahit pangit yan, ay, hindi. <coughs> Sorry. Kahit maganda yan, kahit maganda yan, 
templo ng Lord yan. Instrumento ng Lord yan. Ang Lord na nagsasalita sa kanya, sa pamanggitan niya. And do you know that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit? So our hands, God uses to bless others. Our mouth, He uses to comfort us. Even correct us. So if we refuse the correction, you're refusing the one using that body. Are you ready to be rebuked? Sino ang ready dito ma-rebuke? <clears throat> Pastor, nakita mo yung mga kamay? Ready na? Okay na, lista natin. <clears throat> Number three. Oh, malapit na. Okay. M. So LBM na, kompleto na. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Mature spiritually. Okay. Now, ang tanong, What is maturity? <clears throat> maturity is not defined by age. Hindi dahil matanda ka na mature ka na. <clears throat> Amen. Maturity is not measured by how many years you are already in the church or how many years you are already a Christian. It is not even measured measured It's not measured by how many preachings, how many sermons, how many teachings or seminars we attended. It is not neither defined by that. It is neither defined by how many verses you can memorize or you have in your life. How is maturity then? measured. It is how we live our life. Through that preaching, through that sermon, through that teachings, or through that verse. Kahit isa lang alam mo, John 3.16. But you live with that verse. It signs that you are mature. You know? <clears throat> pero ang dami mo nga alam na verse, pero ang buhay mo naman, hindi na-apply. God is, uh, is peace, and yet you don't have peace. Magulo ang buhay. God is love. And yet, hindi mo ma- ma- mahal ang katabi mo. <clears throat> may ganyan, may ganyan, ganyan, may ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Tapos pagdating sa kaliwa, <laughs> hindi yun ang measurement ng maturity. Take it as example. Do you know, <clears throat> uh, maturity is just like Kawayan. Bamboo. It's like bamboo. Ano ba? What is the characteristics of bamboo, ate? Playa. Playa. Again, to the... Amen. <clears throat> ang, ang bamboo, take a note, ang bamboo, while it is young, is stood right. Tama? Tama ba yung English ko? Yeah. Huh? Nakatayo siya ng straight. But as he rise up and mature, It tends to bow down. Do you believe? And that should be seen in us. Kagaya ng isang palay. You know the rice? Yes. The palay? The palay? <laughs> Same with palay. Okay? While it is young, nakatayo siyang diretso. Stood straight. But when he matures enough and ready to be harvested, it bows down. Why? Because it has already bungas, fruits. <clears throat> fruits. So if your attitude is still the same as before, then how could we expect a fruit in your life? Okay. Fruit is a reflection of how humble you are in the presence of God. So the many you have fruits, it shows you are truly humble in the sight of God. Because whoever humbles himself, God will raise him up. But who raise him up will be humbled by God. Are you ready to be humbled? Now, sabi dito, anyone who lives on, lives on milk is being still an infant. It is not acquainted with teaching about righteousness, 
But solid food is for the mature <coughs> who is constant use have trained themselves to distinguish good and evil. So kung tayo pa rin ay gusto nang gusto nating marinig iyong suiting sa atin para tayong baby. Kinusto kung gusto pa rin na pinipikpikan. So ibig sabihin, hindi pa tayo nagmamature. Okay? Pero kung ready ready ka nang tanggapin ang rebuke ni pastor, then you are already mature enough because you can distinguish and train yourself to what is good and evil. So whether you receive this kind of rebuke, you know that evil is something that has to be removed from your life. Otherwise, check yourself. Do not merely listen to words and so deceive himself. So we are just like one who is looking in the mirror Ah, ganito pala. May dumi pala ako rito. Kailangan ko palang ayusin yung aking kilay. <coughs> Then after awards, pag wala na siya sa, sa salamin, ano pala yung aayusin ko? Yung lipstick ko ba? Okay. Mature people, okay, live with the word. Yun yung sinasabi ko kanina. Na a manifestation that we are already mature, we are walking by our faith. We are walking through the word of God that is implanted in our hearts. So yung word na ng Lord ang ating ginagamit, hindi na head knowledge. Okay? We consult God more than we consult Webster or Google. Amen? <clears throat> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So, maybe you will, you will think, no, <clears throat> bakit ka bago-bago ni Kuya? Isang taon pa lang eh. Pinag-preach ka ganun, Pastor. Ako kung ari ni. Eh. Natanong kung ari ni eh, yun eh. Bakit? Kinabahan nga ako sa totoo lang. Biruin nyo, two weeks. Two weeks akong nag, uh, nagbabattle. Lord, ano ba talaga? At isang linggo pa niya akong pinasakit. Para lang maintindihan ko kung si Pastor ba ang nag-choose o siya. Thank you, Lord. Kasi, Bible said, may nauuna na nahuhuli at may nahuhuli na nauuna. Do you believe on that? Sorry. Excuse me po. Amen. Depende lamang yan. Bakit may nauuna na nahuhuli at may nahuhuli na nauuna? <coughs> Diyon ay depende sa kung gaano sila kagaling. Sumingit. Amen. Amen. Because that manifest, it manifests something. Kung ayaw mong mahuli, susingit ka talaga. That is a symbol of pride. But if you have humility in your life or in your self, magpibigay ka. That's why they call it humility. It's not humbleness but humility. Amen? Okay. Praise the Lord. Patapos na. <clears throat> so, S. So, makukumpleto natin eh ng LBMs. Maraming LBMs yan. <clears throat> Now is, are you ready to serve like Jesus? <clears throat> Paano ba tayo nagsiserve sa, sa ngayon? Are we serving like Jesus? Paano ba nga pala nagserve si Lord, no? In the first place, Amen. He came to serve. He is a king. He is God, and yet, nagpakababa siya ng husto just to serve us. And take note, <coughs> wala siyang pinili. Was there any event in the Bible na namili si Lord kung sino ang kanyang kakausapin? Even Pharisees, kinakausap nga niya eh. Kahit mga professionals nga, kinakausap niya eh pinaglilingkuran niya eh. He didn't select anyone. Everyone is accepted if he draw nears to God. Amen? Sabi nga ng uh, what's that uh, verse? Again, <coughs> James 4.6 or 4.8. Draw near to God and He will draw near to you. No matter who you are, no matter what circumstances you have, 
whatever uh, profession you have, if you draw near to God, He will accept you openly. That is the service ministry na tinatawag na kagaya ng Lord. Ngayon, paano tayo mag-serve? Are we selective? If we are, <clears throat> then check ourselves. If, our, if we are already ready, we need to serve others as a manifestation of our love to God. Sabi nga dito, whatever you do, do whether you, uh, in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to the Father through Him. It is of our manifestations of our gratitude to God. Amen. <clears throat> so if we serve at meron tayong murmuring, then that doesn't reflect thanksgiving. If we serve bragging, nagbrabrag naman tayo, then that doesn't look like we are thankful for the one who commissioned us. Take note po, sabi nga po sa Matthew 25, 40, a king shall answer and say to them, Verily I send to you, inasmuch as ye did it, unto one of these least three, this my brethren, sorry, ye have done it unto me. So whatever you have done sa katabi mo, <clears throat> ginawa mo sa Lord. So if you do it out of compulsion, out of necessity, then <clears throat> it shows that Walang galak sa buhay natin. We are not rejoicing for the one who commissioned us. Take note, serve, we should serve others with a cheerful heart. Not grudgingly. Not because of, it, it, of necessity. Not because you were assigned by pastor. Not because you were assigned to do it, but you do it because you love God. Because serving these people is serving Himself. Why? Do you know? Sabi nga ng John 1.12. Ano sabi ni John 1.12? To him who received him, received Christ, he gave him the right to become children of God. Sino rito ang tumagap sa Panginoon? So lahat ng mga hugs, tingnan niyo yung mga nandito na nagtas ng kamay. Anak yan ni Lord. Ibig sabihin nun, royal family ang mga ito. So paano mo paglilingkuran? <clears throat> Take note po ah. Ang mga naglilingkod sa hari from the olden times to until to the present time napakatindi po ang selection. Hindi ka basta-basta makakapag-serve sa king to you believe. Ang dami mong papasukang screening. Training and screening kailangan mong pasukan. So bago ka makapag-serve it's already a privilege. Okay, it's already privileged. Out of the millions or billions of people around the world, pinili ka ng Lord na magsilbi sa kanyang royal family. What a privilege, di ba? So binigyan ka ng privilege sa mga ta- kaysa sa mga taong wala sa Panginoon ngayon. How will you serve then? How will you serve then ngayon? Serve it with gladness. There's one thing na mad- <clears throat> sinabi sa akin last time ng, uh, ng isa sa mga mentor ko. It was one of my mentor before. This word keep ringing in my mind sometimes. All the, always, especially when I'm doing something. Sabi, sabi niya sa akin, when you do something, think as if it was your last day. So when you serve, <clears throat> think that it was already your last day. Why? Because you will do everything just to please the one you are serving. Amen? Parang, 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 parang tahimik kayo. <laughs> Niniwago ako. <clears throat> Sige na, mag-end na nga tayo. Light verse. Holding verse. So I just want to uh, leave this verse to all of us. Sabi po dito, Their work will be shown for what it is because the day will bring it to light. It will be revealed with fire and the fire will test the quality of each person's work. If what has been built survives, the builder will receive a reward. 
if it burns, the builder will suffer loss, but yet, yet will be saved, even though only as one escaping through flames. So whatever we do, how we live our life, how we build our faith, how we mature in the presence of God, and how we serve will be tested in fire. Will be tested in fire. So kapag doon yung nag-survives, anong nakalagay doon kanina? Receive a reward. You will receive a reward. Amen? Praise the Lord. Tahimik pa rin. Mula ako nag-umpisa, tahimik pa rin. Kinakabunti ako. So now, before I close, I just want to close with another story. Gusto, gusto niyo ba ni story? <clears throat> Do you like story, my brothers? Okay, thank you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to make kwento unto you. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> One day, isang araw, <clears throat> one goat fell into a dry well. Okay, dry well siya. And this well was so narrow enough that no one or no other can fit in that well together with the kambing. Okay. And do you know what is the characteristic of a goat? What is the characteristic of a goat? Amen. Napakaingay. Goat is very, very noisy. One touch, it will cry aloud. Shout aloud. So imagine a goat that was trapped in a deep, narrow well. <clears throat> so imagine yung noise, di ba? It's going to be very, very, very irritating. Now, the owner cannot do anything <clears throat> to, do, to lift that uh, rescue or lift out that kambing or that goat. No. Now, Umapon, afternoon, ano? <laughs> sunrise, sunset, <clears throat> then dawn, he was not able to do anything. So, in short, <clears throat> hindi siya nakatulog. He was not able to get asleep well or enough because of that crying of that coming. So, dahil, because of his uh, heartache, He decided once and for all at dawn since there's no way to rescue that kambing to cover the well with soil. He cannot do anything but to cover it. So in, uh, so in short, <clears throat> they are going to cover the well with soil together with the kambing. It's just like living, uh, buried alive. So one, one uh, shovel throws to the well. And then, siyempre yung kambing nung masakit yung mataburang lupa, di ba? Ate, ano sabi? <clears throat> Ang ginawa niya, siyempre nagreklamo siya. Oh, it's painful. So it's hurting. Ganun siya. So as he wiggle his body, shake, shake, shake. Saan na siya shake, shake, shake? Wala na. Practice siya kanina eh. As he wiggle his body, the soil that was uh, thrown to him, his body fells. Sorry. Sorry po. Fells. Okay. Now, as the soil drops to his feet, then what happened? Yung paa niya, syempre, natatakbunan. So what he will do, by nature, iangat niya, right? Right. So on and on, he throw soils in the well. So at last, the well was covered. And what happens next? <clears throat> the goat was freed. Because every soil that was thrown to him, he shake, then he step, shake, then step, shake, then step, shake, then step. So at the end, what happened? Shake and step. So in short, what happened? The coming, the goat was alive and rescued. <clears throat> Now, here, my brothers and sisters, 
every test, every problem, every persecutions in your life, these are the soils that God is using for you to be able to step higher and higher and higher. God called you or predestined you to this kind, this, this level of faith. We can never reach out that faith if without these soils or these trials that we are going to step on. So every time we are facing these kinds of trials, rejoice. Don't, uh, malungkot. Don't be fail-hearted. But rejoice knowing that God is using every resources that He has to rescue you and to have a life He planned for you. No matter what circumstances that we have already faced or done in the past, take note that this past written something in you, for you. So ano man ang estado natin sa buhay ngayon, whatever circumstances na pinagdadaanan natin ngayon, Think of this. God is just letting us pass through the fire. Purifying us in order for Him to be able to see His reflection in you. Just like a gold that is passing through the fire. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let us all stand. All the while we've been complaining of over the things that was happening in our life we murmur we complain we refused to be corrected and somehow we reveled even to God Lord why is this why I am suffering why I am experiencing this kind of pain and yet I'm serving you all the while Sumusuko tayo. We surrender our faith. Meaning to say, we slight with our faith. With a thought that God doesn't love me because He's persecuting me. He's, he's allowing persecution on me. But I tell you, brothers and sisters, God is just preparing something very special for you. Think of this. You know Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They were never known in the Bible before. Hindi siya, hindi sila kilala. But because of the fire that they have experienced, they have been known. And just like you, my brothers and sisters, hindi man tayo kilala ng mundo. But because of the struggles that you are facing now, is just preparing you or leveling you up so that people will see this is my child who will ever who will never fail but withstand the storms in your life. Hallelujah. Let us bow our heads. Can we raise our hands? Let's surrender to Lord. Father God, truly indeed, Father, all the days of our lives we've been complaining about all the things that is happening to us. We have been, Lord, hindi po namin alam, Panginoon, nakita that you are just or orchestrating something in our life. Father, I pray that you will open up our spiritual eyes that may we see your goodness. Lord, I pray, oh Lord God, Give us the understanding, Lord God, that we may perceive that what you're doing is good in our life. And we pray, Father, change us. Give us, Lord, the heart of a flesh, Lord. Remove the stubborn, stone heart.
that we have and give us a heart of flesh that can beat the heartbeat of Christ. Oh Lord, I pray. Create in us a clean heart, Lord. Lord, renew the right spirit within us. Please. 